Okay, I've got this first cut done. Uh, as I was saying, when I was running it through the bandsaw, I think it would have been easier to run it through the table saw, and I did, I did, I did that, and I cleaned it up quite a bit more. I just set, I set my blade to 20 degrees, and you've got a nice flat surface here and here to run it against the fence. And I went through and got it closer to the line, and it was a lot easier. So I'll probably do it the same thing on the next one. I, I think I, I did it. I used the, the bandsaw because on the first the bit the first piece the covering board that I that I cut like this it was such an arc I used the bandsaw for that. So on the next one I'm going to I'm going to just use this table saw to do that. And then I had to do a little bit of hand work with the eight inch grinder to get that. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. You've got your offset line here your five eighths. And then I ended up uh, having a line down here and I just took my eight inch grinder, the eliminator, this one here, and I worked that down. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, just, just as long as it, uh, it is fairly consistent, like it is. I just took this and ran this down and made that flat, uh, straight, fairly smooth anyway. Now the next cut is gonna be that 45 degree angle. And the way I did it, the first one on the uh, on the the forward covering board was uh, I set my saw blade to 45, and I just freehanded it through. Now what I'm going to do this time, I glued the, I double side taped this little guide block on here and, and uh, ran the blade up into it, and I'm going to use that. Let me get my glasses here. Got to find my glasses before I start it. So I'm going to use this little mahogany block here. You can see I already start, I already cut into it, and it's just proud of that line. I'm going to just freehand this through here. I think I'm going to have to raise the blade a little bit more. I'll do that once I start it, and uh, I'll run it through, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Turn the dust collector on. It'll pick up some of that. Okay, let's try it. Blade needs to come up a little bit more. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop the camera because I, I think the dust is going to get all over the camera. And I'll start it back up once I run this through, okay? Well, I just ran the piece through and it worked out great. This little block here really helped out. The first one I did on that forward covering board, I didn't have that and I kind of had to, I just kind of chipped away at it until I got close. And then I had a lot of work to uh, get, it, get it worked back in. But you can see I'm a little bit proud of the line, but that's fine, I'd rather be proud than, than go under it. And it's even a little bit more so up here, but that's fine. I've got most of the material off. Uh, if I want, I could uh, straighten this out a little bit with the grinder. Um, if not, that's pretty much ready to go on uh, on the boat and get uh, all the screw holes drilled into it. So, so I'll do that to the uh, to the starboard side, and then uh, I'll stop the camera and I'll start it back up once I have all these uh, all the screw holes drilled into it, and I'm ready to ready to attach it for good. I'll show you how I do that. All right. Okay, I have the two mid covering boards finished. I finished them yesterday. I finished uh, milling down the, both the angles, and then I fit them to the to the covering board uh, on the forward end of them. And I'll take this one. This is starboard one. I'll take it over here and show you. And then I cut I cut the end also. 
I cut this angle on the end, so the third one that comes up to it, there'll, there'll be a nice flat surface to fit to. So I put this up here and got this uh, joint to fit real good. And I lined this inner edge up and I made sure that this, was, this line here was smooth. I had to take a little bit more off of this inboard edge here to make it smooth after I had it on there. So I put this on here and I use the same screw pattern as the, the old ones, they're about every five inches. And uh, it's about a half, uh, about nine sixteenths from the inboard edge to the first set and then about two inches to the second. I'm putting two and a half inch screws in here and two inch screws in here. So when I put this up here and dry fit it yesterday, I, I made sure that this was uh, right up against there where I wanted it. I clamped it and then I put uh, five screws in it, these four here and this one here to hold it. That held that down and then this, this end was kind of popped up like this. So then I was able to put this down and I have a little spacer right in here because this inboard edge doesn't fit right up against here. That's just a, a frame for the, for the deck planking. So I have a little shim in here and this gives me the same distance uh, from the inboard edge here to this edge and it's the same on the other side. And then the, this line here is a mirror image of the other, so the deck's going to be uh, symmetrical on both sides. So I had this, um, I had the, the forward end of this tacked, and then I put four screws in this back end, and then I screw, uh, drilled all these screw holes and countersunk them. And then I did the same thing to the other side. Then I took it off the boat and I sealed the back side with 1020, Interlux 1026 wood sealer. Sometimes I use Smith's um, and sometimes I use this. So then I let that dry and then it's the next morning. Now I'm gonna put these on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this back side up with 5200 and the joint here I'm gonna use West System. I'm gonna epoxy that joint. So I'll stop the camera and I'll have this one loaded up and uh, I'll set it up on the boat, start the camera up and then uh, I'll show you how I install this, all right? Okay, I have this covering board ready to install on the starboard side. I've got mahogany 5200 on the, bo on the, the bottom. I used a notch trowel and I put, I used West System on this joint where it meets the forward covering board and, I, and what I did was I used a slow hardener because it's going to be about 90 degrees today and I hit, it with, I hit that end grain with a couple coats of just mixed up epoxy and I did the same on the boat and then I put a third coat of a little, I added a little bit of uh, cabosil to it to thicken it up and I, and I did that and I put a third coat on that joint and then the one on the boat. So I'm ready to install this, I'll take it over there. I've got the, my rags, um, I've got some lacquer thinner, all the screws, my drill, everything ready to go. And I'm gonna start by tacking this forward end in. I'm gonna slide that up to the joint there. And I've got a little block that's gonna raise the back end, cause that'll help me, that'll help me to get this front end uh, in close. You can see that ooze there. Get a lacquer rag ready. I don't like keeping lacquer on the boat. And I got my clamp ready. Make sure it's not in the way of any screws. I'll put a little bit of pressure. Okay, that last memory card was full. I had to switch cards. So I was just getting ready to clamp this in place, and get it close. See with this tapered joint here, you've got to get it, you've got to get it down enough to be able to move it forward. Seeing with that, that wants to slip all over. I'm going to get this shim back here. And get a clamp on it so it's, so it's in where it needs to be at least inboard. Like that. Now I've got to push this forward. I'm just putting some steady, 
steady pressure on it to let that that glue ooze out. And then I'm going to clamp it a little bit more. When I drilled these first few holes, I angled them forward. So when I put the screw in, it'll pull forward a little bit. Need to see where I'm at. Get my cardboard. I need to see if this joint is somewhat close. Looks like it's getting there. These screws should move it into place. I like to hand tighten these first ones just to know what it's doing. I've got to have that inboard edge lined up also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this front set and make sure this joint is tight along here. Then I'll go through and I'll I'll screw this back down and when it's into place then I'll go ahead and put all my screws in here. So I'll stop the camera right now and then I'll start it back up once this is all screwed down and in place. All right? Okay, I've got the covering board screwed down to the boat. It's been about 15 minutes. Uh, I went through and tightened the screws a couple of times because it, it takes a little bit for that 52 to ooze out. So I cleaned all the ooze up until this point and uh, I'll just clean the rest of that up. I always use these little six inch scales. It's a lot easier to clean this 52 up and I use an old scrap piece of cardboard. Try to get most of the of it off. If you just take a rag to that when it's all oozed along there, you'll be there for a while. So I like to use this scale, take it off. That's why I use that uh, tape. It keeps it a lot cleaner. So I just take this here, wipe the rest of it. I don't have to wipe the whole, all the tape. I'm going to pull that. And then uh, I'll go ahead and pull the tape. And if it oozes a little bit more, it it won't be a big deal because that's got to get fair down yet. It's seated real nice along the shear shelf and here's that joint up front. It, uh, it's pretty close, it's pretty good. There's, there's, uh, there's epoxy in between the two gluing it. I had to put this little shim up here because uh, the, the covering board I just installed wanted to push inboard a little bit, so I put this shim with the clamp on and that'll hold it until the epoxy kicks. But it'll be real nice, and it doesn't matter that these flats don't really line up that great because there's enough material there, it's still got to go down quite a bit. Um, as long as I, you know, you get most of the material off, it's going to make it easier to shape. <clears throat> so. Uh, I'll, I'll, I have to install the, the port side now, and then I have two more on each side that I have to cut and fit and um, install on the boat, and then it's this aft piece here. I steam bent this one a couple of, let me turn the light on, a couple of days ago and let it sit on there. Here's the, here's the piece I'm replacing, and instead of cutting those, uh, those angles on it, I, I I didn't do that. It would have been easier to bend in, but I don't think I could have got clamps on it with those uh, with those angles cut. So I had to use the full thickness of the wood there. It went in pretty good though. This is uh, uh, what is it, inch inch and five eighths, something like that, thick, a little bit more than that. But I kept it in the steamer for over an hour and a half, and I put it on there. And this gets mitered at the corners. So I've got. Uh, two mortar install in the back and then this one here and then all the covering boards will be on for good and then I'll start up on that de forward deck with the king planks and then work my way uh, back here on the boat. So that'll do it for how I install covering boards. All right.